Thank you. I'd like to thank the organizing committee for inviting me to talk. So I'm going to talk today, as mentioned, about uh, 3D guidance versus um, straight ultrasound guidance. I do have some relevant disclosures. So I do consult for Medtronics, and this uh, study was funded by Medtronics as part of their FDA application. So uh, ablation um, is a very effective treatment for tumors in the soft tissues of the abdomen. Usually we use it in the liver and kidneys. Uh, but it requires uh, image guidance to perform, and usually intraoperatively we're using ultrasound, and ultrasound has a pretty uh, uh, high learning curve. Um, surgical navigation is being used uh, pretty routinely in neurosurgery and orthopedic surgery because they have a fixed bony structure to register the, you know, the areas of interest to. Uh, however, in the abdomen, you know, all the organs we're interested in are more, uh, they're more mobile and deformable, so it makes it very hard to use traditional um, uh, navigation. So uh, Interoptic developed an electromagnetic system that tracks instruments um, and using um, relative tracking of ultrasound and the uh, instruments you're interested in, uh, this can help in uh, guidance. Um, so Medtronics has integrated this into their microwave ablation uh, probe. And so by uh, tracking the relative uh, positions of the ultrasound and the microwave ablation probe, this gives us uh, navigation in the abdomen. This is a, whoops. This is a video of the system. You can see uh, it, it uh, presents a virtual image of your ultrasound probe and then the, the uh, live feed of the ultrasound image. And then there's also a virtual image of your uh, ablation needle. Uh, the green ellipse shows where, you're gonna, your, where your needle is gonna cross your ultrasound plane. So if you identify your, uh, your tumor on the ultrasound, you know, uh, orient it so the ellipse uh, surrounds the tumor and then advance your needle, makes it very easy to um, place your ablation needle in the tumor. And then the system also provides a virtual representation of your actual ablation zone. So the red sphere that's shown there is, is your proposed ablation zone. Uh, and you can uh, you know, move your ultrasound to see if your uh, proposed ablation zone completely encloses your t tumor. So we have done some previous bench top uh, uh, research on this same system uh, when it was integrated into a different ab ablation uh, needle. Um, we took five novices and five experienced hepatobiliary surgeons and basically compared how well they could target um, lesions, the time to target, the number of required withdrawals and readjustments, uh, and then the mental workload. And basically that, that was published in 2017 and showed that there was a significant uh, number, uh, reduction in the number of withdrawals and retargeting required when using the 3D guided ultrasound versus the standard ultrasound. And you can see there, uh, if you're doing inline ultrasound targeting, uh, it was uh, 2.9 withdrawals required for ultrasound load and 0 0.6 when you're using the 3D guidance. Um, and using uh, off-axis targeting, which is generally harder uh, there was only there was 3.4 uh, required withdrawals with the ultrasound alone and, and only 0 0.4 with the 3D guidance. And then also there was a significant decrease in the learning curve of the novices uh, with the 3D guidance compared to the ultrasound. So obviously the next logical step was to do an animate study. And uh, so that's the, the current study. And in this we did a uh, porcine model where we placed fiducial markers in the kidney and liver uh, to represent tumors. And we had uh, experienced surgeons that were targeting these tumors and then ablating these tumors. Um, and we uh, uh, again recorded the number of uh, withdrawals and retargeting that required the time. And then uh, used uh, accuracy, we basically uh, removed the kidney and liver, uh, bread loafed them to find the fiducial marker and make sure that fiducial marker was within the ablation zone. So this just shows the standard ultrasound view uh, on the top screen that the surgeon saw and then the 3D guidance ultrasound view, which is uh, the same as the video you saw. Um, basically, the surgeons did two laparoscopic targeting ablations in, the, in one kidney and then two laparoscopic ablations in one lobe of the liver. And then we did a laparotomy on the pig and did two, ablation, oh, two open ablations in the other kidney and two open ablations in the other side of the liver. Um, so in total, by the three surgeons, uh, there was 48 ablation procedures, half of them with the guidance and half without. 
And this is the result. There was no difference in the tutomer identification, basically finding the uh, fiducial marker with the ultrasound. The guided ablations, again, required fewer attempts to successfully target the marker. So with the uh, guidance, on average, it took 1.2 attempts, and with the uh, ultrasound alone, it took 2.4 attempts. And if you notice on the breakdown in the uh, table on the right, it, most of that difference was in the laparoscopic procedures. So in the open procedures, they were pretty equivalent um, for uh, with and without guidance, but in the laparoscopic, you can see the lap average, 1.3 attempts with a guided ultrasound and 3.5 with the uh, um, standard ultrasound. And there was no difference in targeting accuracy um, determined by locating the fiducial marker in the ablation zone. This just shows a picture of that um, uh, liver on the left, you know, bread loafed with the fiducial markers in the ablation zone, and the kidney on the right. You can see in the top right, the number eight, the fiducial markers actually out of the ablation zone on that, on that example. So in conclusion, the porcine model utilizing the gold fiducial represents a valid model for simulating these targeting procedures. Um, the 3D-guided ultrasound, again, significantly reduced the number of attempts needed to accurately target the lesions with equivalent targeting results. Um, you know, this suggests that guided ultrasound could potentially increase uh, procedure efficiency and reduce the potential uh, complications from, you know, reorienting re, uh, your needle and multiple um, uh, advances of your needle. The Medtronic's lawyers said that I had to put in the product indication statement. So that's here, and here's the contraindications. And I'd like to acknowledge uh, my co-investigators and the Medtronic team. Thank you.